author of Skull Dugger, he plays with a hugely successful series of novels. Um, for those, and I doubt there are many who haven't read the books, could you tell us a little bit about the character and the world that he inhabits? Um, basically, Skullduggery is he is exactly, you know, as it says on the tin, he's um, a skeleton a detective. Um, it's, it's based in Dublin, it's, well, it's based in Ireland, but it's in, it's modern day, the real world. And uh, the, um, um, all of this stuff is happening uh, just around the corner or just, you know, it's, it's our world, but the uh, parts of it that we don't actually see. So yeah, it's, um, it's basically just an excuse for me to have really fast dialogue, um, you know, because he's a, a detective and I've always I loved the, you know, the kind of the private eye dialogue, you know, from like movies in uh, the 40s. Um, so this is my um, excuse to indulge in that and, uh, and just like put um, um, everything that I've absolutely um, adored in my life into one place. I haven't read the books actually, but they seem very filmic. They seem like the chapters almost, yeah. scenes in the movie. Is that mm. kind of conscious? It, it's, it isn't conscious, but it's how I write. Um, I started out writing uh, screenplays, so it is how I think, you know, I think very visually. Um, so, uh, yeah, when it it comes time to writing, I just basically have fun. So yeah, it it does. You know, there is a lot of of, of emphasis on um, on dialogue and on physical movements and expressions instead of you know delving into their thoughts and you know it it's 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 a style um, of writing in which. Uh, you know, the characters will tell you how they are feeling by the dialogue and by their physical movements as opposed to, uh, you know, a stream of consciousness. So, um, yeah. Um, do you have any favourite authors yourself or is there anyone who...? Um, the, well, the person actually who, who exemplifies that style of writing is one of my favourites. He's Elmore Leonard. Uh, the crime writer. Um, uh, in in the area in which I write, uh, you know, I like uh, Philip Pullman, uh, Neil Gaiman, uh, Clive Barker um, has come out with some amazing uh, books for younger readers. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's um, it's I, I think it's really important, uh, you know, for writers. To have uh, heroes, you know, like amazing authors who they look up to, because you know, you read a book by uh, Philip Pullman and you get energized, and you go, "Okay, now I want to take that kind of energy and that kind of reaction and apply it to my own story." You know, so it's uh, it, it's a nice way to feed uh, the fun. Okay. Um, I know you have an event later on today. Um, as a writer, do you feel it's important to engage with the fans and have their observations and um, views on the book sometimes changed your writing? They've never changed it because uh, if I were to read a theory online that, that is close to where I'm going with the book, then I'll suddenly have to change the natural flow of the story, so I never allow the audience expectation to change what is to come. Um, uh, and you know, a few, um, a few times they have come really close to where I'm going with certain aspects, but um, they, they they think they have it figured out. But but uh, every time I read it, I'm like, ah, you've got it half right. Um, so. No, I, I, I don't let that impact on how I tell the story. Um, the thing about, uh, as, um, especially uh, uh, younger readers, is that they will, uh, first of all, you know, on the internet, they will post their theories and whatever else, but they will also uh, write fan fiction. 
Um, so, you know, and it's everywhere. Um, and I stay away from that. You know, they ask me to read it, but I, I have a policy where I don't. Um, I plan to, like, take a few days when I, when I finish the last Skullduggery book, I plan to take a few days and read a ton of fan fiction just to see, you know, just to see how good it is and how, um, and how close they are. But uh, no, um, I, you can't allow someone else's expectations or assumptions to, to inform where the story is going naturally. Sure. I guess you'd never, you'd never get it finished if you were being pulled in yeah, a different direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, finally, the, the next book is coming out next month. Could you September second? Yeah, yeah. Could you tell us anything about it, or are you sworn to secrecy? Uh, it's called Mortal Coil. Basically, I've always seen these these books as um, as a as a type of film. So the first book was my um, adventure, it was my action adventure. The second book was my monster movie. The third book was my whodunits, my murder mystery. The fourth book was a revenge flick. And this book is my invasion of the body snatchers. You know, so it's, I, I, I see it, you know, them very clearly. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's the kind of story that, you know, that I absolutely adore where the characters that, you have spent a uh, time with, in in this case, a uh, years with. Uh, suddenly, you don't know if you can trust them, um, and it's, it's it's just a really nice um, avenue to be able to go down and themes to be able to explore. So, uh, yeah, it's it's um, basically fun. It's great. It must be a great position to be in to to explore. The genres that you're so passionate about, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, to turn them into something that people really have, you know, that look, they love and it's really warm to. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the, you know, this is really, you know, the entire Skullduggery series has been one big um, indulgence, you know, because I put everything in there, you know, and martial arts and monsters and you know science fiction ideas and fantasy ideas um, and the dialogue, the detective, you know, the hard boiled. A witty dialogue, um, and yeah, it, this is just my excuse to put it all together, um, and so it it stops every book from being the same as the last one. You know, they all have their own um, identities because you know I get to the new book and I go, this is my invasion of the body snatchers. You know, I can indulge in that now, and the next one I'll. Indulge in something else. So it's like a new start for each. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. The story obviously uh, continues. The characters uh, grow and evolve, but every book is has its own uh, identity. So um, yeah, it's it's how I um, um, I keep myself interested. If I had to write the same kind of book over and over again, I'd get incredibly bored. Right. So uh, no, it's it's just it's just me having fun. Right, well, like everyone else, I'm really, really looking forward to reading this. Thank you very much. My pleasure.